I appreciate you jumping on here. Um, consigning a horse. Um, excited to have her on here. Why don't, while, you know, anybody at least within a two mile radius of your house knows who you are, the rest of the world may not. So maybe we should start out with telling a little bit about you, who you are and what the heck you do up there. Actually, I don't know that anybody within a two mile radius knows who I am. <laughs> <laughs> that might be accurate. I used to uh, own bucking bulls. I guess, I guess that's how my neighbors might know me. They didn't like me because I had bucking bulls. <laughs> and they were right. afraid of them. I think I would be too, candidly. All right. So Chris <laughs> bit. Chris Benzi, we got that much established. We know who you are. Uh, yep. You live in northern Minnesota. No, I hate okay. that northern Minnesota. Central, yeah. Central. You're north. You're <laughs> north of the Twin Cities. It's northern. By Minnesota. about thirty minutes. Okay. All right. So, so you're in Central Minnesota, and you train your own cow horses. With a help, with a lot of help from. There's different <laughs> okay yeah that's right but you, you do, you, uh, but you do a good chunk of it um yeah la if i remember last year that you might have actually made the finals at the snap a bit futurity yep that, that was yep. pretty exciting right. for me yeah no a big accomplishment too um on a colt that you did a big chunk of the training on so that's pretty cool and so I guess maybe that kind of leads into this filly and what the scoop is on her and, you know, how, how, we, how did you come to own her? When did you get her? Maybe just give a little bit of the background on her. Well, two years ago, we were out at the, uh, the Stallion Stakes in Rapid City. And actually you, you and I both went to look at it. Was it a two-year-old at the time? Yep. And, uh, he showed us some yearlings, and I really like this filly, so we kind of made a package deal, and I got yeah. her out of the Badlands in South Dakota. Yeah, so coming off the uh, Jim, yeah, Jim Witcher out of uh, Pepto's Blueprint, and so, you know, a, yeah. a horse that's well known out there in South Dakota, um, big stand-up son of Pepto Boone's Ma, um, really, really nice horse. Um, maybe um, I'm going to go ahead and get the video uh, ready to play here, but maybe give a little bit of background. Obviously, she came to you fresh, and uh, you got her started, and kind of have taken it from there. Yeah, I think I had her as a yearling, and then uh, I slowly started to start her. Um, she's one of them horses where if you take your time with her, she gives you everything she's got. Um, if you go a little fast or ask a little bit too much. She lets you know, but it's nothing. It's not like she goes freaks out. She just lets you know she's, you know, you need to take your time with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, and then that's what you and I have talked about, talked on and off on this filly um, as you've trained her up, and I've seen her several times. And um, as you said, I mean, you know, you do a good job. You take your time on them and 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 do it right. And uh, as we'll see in this video here, she she does give you everything she's got uh you know once you take your time and so she's kind of been one of those if i understand things right chris she's kind of been one of those projects and and um as a non-pro in your situation in order to be able to keep showing horses you kind of got to keep training a few and sell some and keep the cash rolling um in order to go get another one and keep keep playing the game and so um you know here she is um we measured her last time and i mean she is every bit of 14.3 right yeah, um, I know I taped her, and then you actually uh, did it too, and it was 14.3. Um, yeah. And, and, and I taped her weight-wise, and I thought I'd come up with 1,100. It might be a little less, but. Yeah, but but she's a big stand-up mare. I think that's. Yeah, that's and she's going to, I think she's going to grow some more even. Um, yeah, no. I, I think you're right. I think she'll be a 15, 15, one hair in the mare. Um, one of the things I like to make sure we tell everybody here, we got lots of pictures here, everybody. We have Chris's contact information here. Don't hesitate to give him a call. Um, we got the Pepto blueprint. You can see Jim Witcher does a heck of a job promoting this stud out in South Dakota. Um, she is nominated there for the five state uh, <clears throat> breeder futurity. 
Uh, also nominated for the South Dakota Stallion Stakes, as well as the uh, South, South Dakota Cutting, I believe. Um, so nominated up there. Uh, we got the pedigree here. You see she's extremely well-bred out of her own daughter, C.D. Alina. Um, um, you know, and so, so this is a well-bred, nice, nice, nice filly. Um, we'll jump into this video, Chris. I think you'll be able to see it. Let me hit mute so we're not listening to whatever music I put to this. But like we talked through, Pepto's blueprint, all this. Sorry here, I'm trying to look around here and get to the video. Um, you and I have talked right there. This is what that filly does really good. She's a stopping son of a gun. And she was like that from day one. Um, and I really just put um, regular keg shoes on her probably, what, two weeks ago? Okay. And uh, I was trotting her around just to get her used to them and asking for a stop. And uh, I couldn't believe how huge she stopped. I mean, she stopped even without them, without shoes, mm -hmm. barefoot. But you don't really get a good grasp of how well they stop until you put something under them that they can slide a little bit on. And uh, yeah. Um, so I've kind of had them on and off of her just from her being outside. And it's a little slick out there. And I didn't want to have shoes on her. So right now I yeah. took them back off. Okay. But, uh, yeah, she's had shoes. You do all your own farrier work, so you I do. Shoes. Um, I do just to try and save some money. Um, yep. I've done it, but I've done it for the past six years now, so yeah. I haven't laid one up yet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not. So I, I, uh, I'd like to think I do okay on it. Um. Oh um, yeah. She does. They have all done pretty good. So. Yeah. Now we saw her work the flag here. We saw her turn around. I mean, you, you've definitely got this filly broke and I know you're still riding her and um, yep, as I usual, am. she's, she's getting better and better every day, you know, pretty cowy mare certainly seems. And, and you've said she's pretty easy on a cow, really. Yeah. Um, she's, she's, she's a short backed horse. So her turns come fairly easy for her. Um, she's okay. great at tracking them around really well. Um, it doesn't, yeah much for me to get her to track one around and she'll turn one um turn around maybe needs a little work but it, you know it's like an every other day thing with that i mean she's really good one day and she might be a little tired the other um but yeah she, she knows well, how to turn around and we should tell everybody i mean this video is here at my place um yep. you know yep. you you brought this filly two hours away from home unloaded her out of the trailer took her in a barn that she's been in one other time. And we took videos of her doing everything. Yep. So I, I think that kind of speaks to her as well. And that this is all just, you know, fresh to her. And here I ask you to, Hey, turn her quite a bit, make her a little faster. And you stepped her up and did it. She took it. Um, you know, she certainly seems like Chris, she's got enough feel, but she comes back and trusts you as well. After you, after you work her, she seems to calm right back down. Absolutely. That's one thing about this horse uh, that I really like um, is once you gain her trust, she just, it's like she looks for you out in the pasture. She, she trusts okay. me when I'm riding her. Um, you know, as long as I'm fair to her, she gives me everything. I really like that about her. Yeah. Now tell me, you, you have, I think maybe you just have two, maybe you have three horses up there now that you're riding. Do they all get do turned out three. to get, they all get turned out together? No, I actually have her turned out with Eddie, which is okay. my futurity horse. Well, now he's a derby horse. Um, okay. Just because those two have kind of gotten to be buddies and gotten along together. And I, and I got plenty of room up here to throw them, mm -hmm. those two out in the paddock. And then I got this one that I just bought that I really didn't want to throw out there. I did throw her out there with them. Yeah. But it's kind of an every other time I'll throw her out there with them. And then I okay. don't want them to pick on the new horse. So that's kind of my where I'm at. My point there is that this filly's been used to being turned out. She runs oh, yeah. another horse. There, there. I mean, you can just see it in her. Um, I, I put that video of her just trotting around and stopping, Chris. I added that because you, you said it earlier. And when you watch that, you can just see how big she's going to stop. I mean, she is going to stop huge as she gains confidence in those shoes. Yep. Yep. And you know, um, one thing, you know, I, the only thing that I – I guess I should do more of with her is that uh, that uh, exercise where you kind of go up and down with the walk trot lope back down to the trot walk in. Uh, yeah, I think if I you know I'll probably do some more of that before 
before yeah. she sells. No, looks like she's a she's a good good mover, good loafer. <laughs> that one in there. <laughs> Well, but I mean, yeah. I think, but I think that's important for us to always include these things in here, right? And then oh, yeah. we see, I mean, but she took the correction. You got her fixed. I think she either got some, you know, a sand or something in her ear and just, but that's kind of how, you know, the, this time of year, a, a three-year-old is going to be and, and we want to represent her right. Um, and I know you do. Um, one of the things you've been Absolutely, emphatic to. Yeah, yeah you've, you've been emphatic with me about. Um one thing I want to mention too is I, I think this filly could be a heck of a barrel horse, rope, rope horse, and she does have a lot of run. I mean, she's quick. Well, and she's got some power out of the turns because I've had her turn a cow a couple times. Granted, it's in my indoor; it's not huge, but when she, when you want her to get back after that cow, you can just feel the power. Um, yeah. So. All right. Well, good. I, I, everybody, I would just encourage you, um, give Chris a call. This is a really nice three-year-old. Um, Chris has done a really good job with her, getting her going, um, starting her right. Um, you call him. He's going to talk to you about her. Um, I don't think you can lie, candidly, Chris. I think you could, somebody could, I could try to tell you to lie about this horse, but it, it, <laughs> you wouldn't. No, and, and my point is, you're going to be honest. Somebody really wants to know the details on this filly, give Chris a call. He'll tell you um, exactly what she is, how she is, how she rides day in, day out. So anything else you want to say about her? Um, real quick, I, I give you the opportunity to say something. I'll shut you off, but blemishes, soundness, anything like that? Not, no, I mean, I haven't had any issues. Um, yep. Yeah, good feet, good off. legs. I mean, that's, yeah. yeah. I just trimmed her front feet and uh, her back feet look pretty good yet. So I didn't do much with good. them. Um, okay. Yeah. I mean, anything you want to know about her, I will try to be as honest as I can possibly be because I, I don't want somebody to end up with this horse and be unhappy. That's the, the key yeah. thing. Yeah. So. so, okay. Well, thanks a lot, Chris. You, you, you're welcome to the world of technology in your first Zoom call. <laughs> Well, I had some help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I think well, that's I appreciate, appreciate yeah, your life. help, too. So. Oh, yeah. No problem, man. Uh, I, I'm excited to sell this one for you.